YouTubers. Welcome back to AZ to Ozarks and Happy New Year. The new year often brings new resolve for our health and wellness goals, and it has been so easy to overindulge during those holidays, and so now it's time to get back on track. Today's recipe for you is a keto granola, and it is absolutely delicious. You won't feel like you're missing anything at all here. One of the great things about this recipe is that you are going to make it on the stove top. So you don't have to worry about get that oven started and you can do it all in one pan and then spread it out onto a parchment paper later for cooling. The good news is, is you can get all of the ingredients in one convenient place. I'll put the link down in the description below and you can order sizes as small as this or as large as you'd like. So you can make as little or as much as you would like. So let's go ahead and get started. First we start with about four tablespoons of coconut oil. Have your pan heating over a low to medium heat because we don't want it to get so hot that it's going to burn. Allow the coconut oil to start melting and then we will add one third cup of sweetener. I like to use an erythritol monk fruit blend. Let's see if I can show you what that looks like here. By Sweetly, this is a really great sweetener and it doesn't have any glycemic index. As the coconut oil is melting, stir the two together, and you'll want to stir this around for a bit until the sweetener has also melted. Be patient and don't put on higher heat because it can burn really quickly and you don't want it to burn. You can see that the sweetener has melted and so now it's all clear through here no granules left and now we will add two teaspoons of cinnamon a half teaspoon salt and one quarter teaspoon of fourfold vanilla if you have regular vanilla extract just use one teaspoon you can see that that's definitely hot Give it a good stir and now we'll start adding the other ingredients. One cup shredded coconut unsweetened, one half cup pecan halves, one quarter cup sliced almonds, one quarter cup pumpkin seeds, one quarter cup sunflower seeds, one quarter cup hemp seeds, one quarter cup sesame seeds, and one quarter cup flax seeds. And we'll mix them all together. And here we'll want to keep them over that low heat for about five to eight minutes until they start getting nice and toasty. You'll smell the the smell as well as start seeing some browning. Um, you definitely don't want to overdo it to where they get burnt edges or anything. So here you'll kind of want to stay with your pot and stir it pretty frequently to make sure you don't get any hot spots on the underside. Now that everything has gotten nice and golden, we are going to transfer it over into a parchment lined cookie sheet. Spread the granola out on your parchment lined cookie sheet. Just spread it into a somewhat thin layer. And then here's the hard part. You're going to have to let it cool completely before digging into it if you want it to form nice little clusters. So let's let it cool completely and then we'll break it up into clusters. Now that we've allowed the granola to cool, you can gently break it into clusters to whatever size you'd like to have. 
And one of the great things about this recipe is that it's interchangeable. You can use whatever seeds and nuts you have on hand in order to make it um, convenient with what you have as well as meet your taste. So we get it all broken up here. The idea is, is that you use one cup of coconut flakes and then two cups of the nuts and seeds that you like. And that gives you three total cups and each serving size is about a half a cup. So six servings all together. And then in each serving, depending on what nuts and grains you use, you will have about three or four net carbs. And so we get this broken up a bit here. Here's our half cup serving size. This makes a really wonderful snack or breakfast. I really like to have it over a bit of this kind of yogurt. This Alexander Family Farm yogurt um, doesn't have any sugar added, so it helps you meet your goals of uh, less sugar for sure. So if we have a little bit of yogurt in there and mix in some granola, you are all set with a tasty breakfast with lots of nutrition, and it will also help you meet your goals for health and wellness. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future.